point of entry. Spotlight comes up on a blue X taped on the raised plywood stage painted black. It is assumed there will be a mic. I imagine a mic standing there, its shadow marking a direction. The direction of the mic's shadow is an angle, signifying a radius, the possibility of a circle. Can we make it? A chalk-drawn line I can dance in, 12 feet in diameter, 6 feet in any direction from the mic. I would stand up and sing, but I worry about my aspirations as a woman. This bright enclosure, hot red gels illuminate my curated breath. Because there was no concrete script to follow once the choreography and poetry cohorts had completed their work, finding the right group of people to take this to the next iteration was really crucial. Uh, and finding somebody who could do that, both with the comfort of jumping in midway through the process and the dexterity to add her own voice and find opportunities for the design team and the acting ensemble to add their own voices to the end result was really imperative. And asking them to do the kind of work that this piece invited uh, was a, a kind of unique proposition. And we were really fortunate that Alina was game for everything and had experience working with poetry and devising theater. I've always approached Everything I do, especially in the spaces that I create with art and theater, I really celebrate the person and the person as they are. And I think it's really important that everybody come forward with who they are wholly. I think um, as much as you walk into theater and they say, you know, bring yourself, it's not the truth. <laughs> and it's the reality of this industry. And so I always like to create a space where you can be your whole self. That, that gave room to for the, the actors themselves to feel that. Well, I think it's really powerful that the ensemble came together with different backgrounds, histories, cultures, and we were able to find unification throughout this whole experience, this whole process. Learning about how similar we can be, it, it, makes you feel a connectedness uh, with each other, with potentially other people. It's almost like a, it gives you hope. I think it's powerful. Reading reading what they've written, my ensemble member is like reading what they've written and, and relating to it, seeing them through that, immediately getting to know them, like right off the bat, you know? Like how powerful is that? It's like I get to know you. Like I, how do you, how often do you just meet somebody and then get to know, you know what I'm saying? Like it's instant, like this gave me that. I mean, you can't ask for it. That's all we search for as humans, so yeah. The actors went through an audition process that was perhaps unusual for many of them. And from that, we could sort of gauge who was willing to take the artistic risks. You always walk into devising. Of course, you have your tools that you always use and you know, um, but you have to be very open to one thing shifting, to how everybody collaborates, to energies in the room, to even as how life changes. Devised theater is not something I do a lot of, and a lot of my training is in a more orthodox uh, type of, you know, script-based theater. So there was a lot of experimentation and a lot of genuine discussion uh, in the first couple weeks where I was sitting there and the control part of me and the like, we need to get the work done part of me is like, this isn't work, like we need to, we need to work on this. But like, it absolutely was, the work was getting to know one another and having an understanding of each other's experiences. And then a, a real like display of skill and style and interpretation that was really spectacular. Looking back on it, I can understand its importance. What was helpful with this process too was that we weren't starting from nothing. We could use the themes that were throughout those poems to inform uh, the poems that the actors were creating. I laid out all the poems and it was, what do you relate to? 
and now how can you connect yourself to this piece? Why there were actors who wrote their own poems too, because they had to be like, I don't really fit so much in this, but I have a response to it. Yeah, it, everyone has like their own unique voice, and it's and I'm you know I really I really cherish that. You know, I hear the poems that like my other cast members wrote, and I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> you guys are so good. <laughs> yeah.